What's up guys? Welcome to your 88th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is kind of format our milliseconds into minutes, seconds, and milliseconds for a stopwatch application. Now, this is kind of a rudimentary concept for Java programmers and you wouldn't expect to learn this at the 88th tutorial, but I know some of you guys probably don't know how, especially if you've just been following this series as a beginner programmer. So, um, we're just going to quickly format or I'm going to show you guys how to format um, this this long into again minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some int variables within our uh, again within our stop button. So we're going to say int milliseconds or mils like that, and we're going to again set this equal to our result. Nothing new there. Again, we have our stop and our start time. And it's giving us an error right now because it's like, hey, we're trying to set up an integer and you're trying to set it equal to a long. So what we're going to do is just cast in an int right here. So it's going to be like, yeah, we're working with a long, but hey, don't tell anybody and we'll make it. We'll make this deal work. Just say it's an int and no one's going to get in trouble. So basically what you've been seeing in the past is um, we've used this a few times. Basically it's just casting it so we can make it work. And then we're also going to set up an um, int for seconds. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say our milliseconds or our result, even though it's pretty much the same thing. Um, again, we have to cast it as an int, sorry. And then we're going to say our result divided by 60. Wait, no, divide by 1,000, I'm sorry milliseconds into seconds we're going to divide it by a thousand general basic math right there and then we're also going to set up an int for minutes and we're going to set this equal to again int and then we're going to say our seconds actually we don't have to use the int for this one we're just going to say our seconds divided by 60 makes sense right um, whoops our second divided by 60 Let's make it seconds. There we go. All right. So now, basically, we have everything set up for the most part. And now, what we want to do is we want to set our show result as those three variables. So what we're going to do is basically delete what we have so far, and we're going to say string dot format. And as you can see, it takes a, a string as its first parameter and basically objects as its second parameter and etc. So we're going to click that and for what we're going to say is basically we want to have our you know our minutes, our seconds and then milliseconds all separated by a colon. So it's going to be something like this, right? But now we need to set up basically uh, that's not going to print anything with our variables in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our parenthesis sign or I'm sorry, percentage sign D. And that's basically going to give us kind of um, a reference, which I'll explain in a second. And again, parentheses D within here, we're going to say O2 and uh, parentheses, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, parentheses O2, D, and then again, for the third one, we're going to say parentheses O2, D. So basically what this parentheses does and this D does, it kind of just references over here. It's like, hey, this is the first D, um, you know, give me an argument to work with. And it's like, hey, this is, a, this is another D, give me the second argument and the third argument. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up our arguments over here. So we're going to say milliseconds, seconds, and, oops, no, not like that, I'm sorry. Minutes is our first D seconds and milliseconds so that's referring to these int variables right here so again it's going to hit this first d it's going to look for the first argument the second d it's going to look for the second argument and the third d it's going to look for this third argument but now we still are having a problem and i'm going to show you that problem real quickly hopefully um, when we run our application So we're going to hit start, let it run for a little bit, and then um, basically when we hit stop, 
our milliseconds is still showing all of our milliseconds and you know our, our it's still showing the five here stop again we have the 14 here and the 14 here etc so we want to get rid of that problem alright so basically what we want to do is we want to kind of just use the remainder for each of these at least for the seconds and milliseconds so what we're going to do is we're going to say milliseconds is equal to milliseconds and then we're going to use our parentheses sign again and say uh, divide by 100. So basically what that is going to do is it's going to take our milliseconds, it's going to divide by 100, and whatever's left over, it's going to take that and set it equal to. Um, so this, I don't know if that makes sense, but we're also going to do that for our seconds as well. So we're going to say seconds equals seconds. Um, divided by and take the remainder of um, 60. Let's say we have 181 seconds. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to say 181 seconds divided by 60. Hey, that goes into it three times and with a remainder of one. So it's basically going to give us the remainder. So it's going to say one. Um, so basically that's what we're working with. And now when we run our application, um, it, everything should work out perfectly. So let's just start, stop, and as you can see, it, it's kind of rounding everything off, and we aren't getting that overlap there that we were getting previously. So uh, hopefully that kind of made some sense, guys. Uh, you learned about the module or the remainder and um, also these D things.